Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I'll build a house of straw today. Said one little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in! Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw. Out to play went two little bears. My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you there. Open the door, little bear, be he pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bit. And she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house. And then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. No! Oh. He pounded the door. Let me come in. And I'll blow your house in. And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again. <gasps> Sheesh, get a hold of yourself. <gasps> so, did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so, what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, Daddy. Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse. I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. <laughs> oh, please. I'll be your best friend. Well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends, and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. Ah. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> You're swell. 
So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> The lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> Yay. Yay. I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Joey, tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, cause, cause, <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks, in the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there, I'll be quiet as a mouse. did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! Yummy! Three bear chairs inside the family room. Oh, hmm, I think I'll check them out and sing a little tune. La 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 la. But the first chair was too big. Oh, <laughs> oh my! And the second one was too small. Ooh, too tight. But the third one was just right. <gasps> When she plunked into the chair, it broke into a million pieces. Oh my, look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> Squishy, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but the third one was just right. Oh, this will do. <sighs> While Goldilocks snored away, the three bears came back home. The front door was wide open. Oh, dear, it looks like we're not alone. Eating my porridge! Oh, someone's been eating mine too! And somebody's finished my every drop! That was mine, thank you! Oh dear! Hmm! Someone's been
been sitting in my chair. <gasps> Someone's been sitting here too. Uh oh. Guess what? My chair is broke. And that was good bamboo. I think I hear something upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And wouldn't you know it, mine too. And someone's been. Look, she's in my bed. Oh dear, who are you? Uh, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Goldie raced into the woods and hid from everyone. The bears could not believe their eyes. The bears could not believe their eyes. And now the story's done. Did that really happen? <laughs> no, it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I think it's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure, I need three Billy goats. Archie, yep. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Billy goats gruff. Gruff! Three Billy goats gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goats find a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three Billy Goats Gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little Billy Goat Gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. And look at all the grass that's new across the bridge to the other side. He may be small, but at least he tries. But as the Billy Goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you. <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chop. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. To be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers too, and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan.
Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans. To show his mom But when she saw what he had done She threw away the beans outside Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried But, but mom, they're magic beans Oh, magic schmagic The next day where the beans did land A giant beanstalk grew Oh, man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high And found a castle in, in the, the sky, sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place A big fat giant with an ugly face Came thumping in so very loud Shook the heavens and the clouds fee fi fo fum I smell a boy Yum, yum, yum! fee fi fo fum Ready or not, here I come! Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted Two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Three, five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Three, five, four, four. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, uh, oh, yikes! <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and. He grabbed that fine white little head and even grabbed a singing heart and climbed down that stalk again. La la! But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off, never, never ever to be found. found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast And neighbors came from near and far The harp played songs and sang along Jack, you are a shining star Jack, you are a star So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs Oh, but... You could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah! Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red. <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Gran for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear, you're going where? He said Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've 
brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Say that to my face. The better to eat <gasps> you with. Oh! <laughs> Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends! Uh, <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger! Confess, Little Red! I've learned my lesson now! She said... She learned her Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow. The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys! But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> the next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn I'll do it all again today So I'm not and he laughed away. <laughs> help me, help me, a wolf appeared. It chased my sheep. We're all afeard. <gasps> oh dear, sounds like trouble. So once again, villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine. The boy laughed. <laughs> I was kidding. I think you better apologize. Yeah. Say you're sorry. You tricked us again. That's just not nice. You lied to us. <laughs> it was just a joke. 
The villagers were not happy, but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. <laughs> you bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Oh, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then Thought it was a joke again They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny Help me, help me, a wolf No one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. Woo! Let's read the one about Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> well, once upon a time... <laughs> Goldilocks went for a walk and came upon a house in the woods. The house belonged to Three Bears. I'd like to go in if I could. Well, you don't say. Goldilocks walked right in and found three bowls full of food. <gasps> Porridge, she said. How nice. Mm, 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 that's really good. But the first one was too hot. Ouch. The second one was too cold. <clears throat> the third one, well. Behold, now this one is just right. <laughs> That porridge was yummy. I think I'll go get comfy in the living room. <laughs> Goldilocks went to the living room where she found three very nice chairs. Oh. She had to try them out, of course, but they belonged to three bears. Hmm. This one looks cozy. Well, the first one was too big. Oops! The second one was big. Ha <laughs> ha! 
to tell you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is it about monkeys or, or bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no. It's a story about my family. Oh, like when you were just a boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about me and my two brothers. Oh, cool. Cool. I want to hear. Okay. Three little pigs went out to play. Let's build a house made of straw today. Said one little pig and he built it. Yeah. yeah. Then he took a nap. A wolf woke him up. Oh, huh? What? Oh, who is it? 
I see you in there I see you in there Open the door, little pig, beware He knocked on the door Let me come in Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in And he did and he laughed with a big mean grin Ha 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 <laughs> the straw was just too easy to blow away. <laughs> then I shall build a stronger house. Out to play went two little pigs. Let's build a house made out of twigs. Said one little pig and he built it. Yup. Then he took a snooze, but that wolf woke him up. The nerve. <laughs> huh? 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 <laughs> what? I see you in there. You do? I see you in there. Uh -oh. uh, open the door, little pig, Ooh. beware. Oy. He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house Ooh. in. And he did, and he laughed with a big mean grin. <laughs> <laughs> Work at all. I think we need something stronger than straw or sticks. Mm -hmm. Just one little pig, and she had to think quick. Mm -hmm. I'll make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little pig, and, and she, she built, built it right, right up. up. Then she took a snooze, but that wolf woke her up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I see you in there. Uh, no, you don't. I see you in there. Big shot! Open the door, little pig, beware! I don't think so! He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house <gasps> in! And he tried and he tried and he tried again! <laughs> but, but he couldn't do it because the bricks were too strong! <laughs> <laughs> right! And the three little pigs lived happily for a long time in their brick house. <laughs> Yay! 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 Uh, well, where are the bananas in this story? <laughs> Charlie. <laughs>
Yes, come in, dear. Hi, Granny. Said Red when she walked through the door. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've brought some treats from the goody store. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh nice. Said the wolf, then burped really big. Oh. That's when Little Red saw the wig. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> So? And Granny, what big eyes you have! <laughs> Is that so? And Granny, what big teeth you have! <laughs> the better, dear, <gasps> to eat you with! Oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think, mister! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no way! Cried Little Red Riding Hood! Oh, oh yeah! A huntsman who was chopping wood Oh yeah, oh yeah Burst in and shook the wolf all about Unlock the door and let Granny out Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah You big bad wolf Granny <laughs> Well, Granny was scared but she was okay Oh yeah, oh yeah And Little Red said I learned a lesson today Oh yeah Talk to strangers. How about that? And Granny and Red had a nice long chat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what happened to the big bad wolf? They sent him away and he never came back. Phew. What a relief. Well, well, what happened to the basket of goodies she brought to Grandma's house? Uh, anything left for me? Oh, yes. Charlie! Charlie. <laughs> Ready for story time, little twins? Yay! How about Jack and the Beanstalk? Giant noise. Fee, fi, 
Oh boy, I smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away and grabbed some gold coins on his way. He climbed back down the green beanstalk, gave the coins to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away He grabbed the golden egg on his way He climbed back down the green bean stalk And gave the egg to his mom The very next day, he climbed to the sky He found a golden harp in the castle up high e Oh boy, I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away But the giant chased him all the way He climbed down the beanstalk really fast And chop, chop, chopped it down Now Jack and his mom had so much gold They were rich until they were old They both Happily ever after Happily ever after Jack and the Beanstalk Yeah, yeah, yeah The end Yay Do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do, and it's my favorite! Once upon a time, in the woods There lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed So off she went, with a basket of bread side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here for Little Red Riding Hood to appear. Clever wolf I am to pretend That I am dear grandma sick in bed <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast And rescues me, this wolf is bad Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed I brought you some yummy bread Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come.
waited every morning and every night. Papa's was hot. Mama's was cold. Baby's just right. I'm Papa Bear. Chased her right out of their house. Yeah. 